Hey guys, wanted to do a little review. I picked up a elk reel from Reel Game Calls, and I've been out hunting for the last couple weekends and um, wanted to share it with you guys and tell you what I think. Um, I've used um, mouth, mouth reeds for the last few years um, pretty successfully. Uh, I like them but I don't really like having something in my mouth all the time. Um, it really gets to me. I kind of have a narrow palate and um, just makes me feel like I'm gagging all the time. Um, so I thought I'd try something new and I saw these. Um, it's, uh, it's got a little diaphragm inside um, and there's a little spring. It's two pieces of hickory wood here um, bound together by a little black rubber ring um, and you make the sound higher pitched by squeezing it and then letting off um, like this. Um, what's nice about it is really easy to use. I pulled it out of the package and was able to get a good sound right off the bat. And just to impress upon you how easy this is to use, um, I was able to hand it to my two-year-old daughter and show her how to use it and within a minute or so she was able to get a fairly convincing cow call out of it. Um, it's kind of dummy proof. Um, another thing that I really like about it is that it it doesn't make accidental sounds. You really got to try to make an accidental sound out of it. Um, it pretty much gives you the sound that you want every time um, without any without any tricks or little buzzes or anything like that. Um, I think that's a really important quality um, that you know you can rely on it when the elk are right there and you don't want to do something that's going to spook them or startle them. Um, it's definitely definitely solid in that um, regard. It's very versatile. You can get a lot of really rich and varied elk sounds out of it. Um, you can have a lot of control over your volume and your pitch waterproof which is nice um, and you can hold it in your hands like this and squeeze it with your fingers and you can also have it in your mouth and just use your teeth to squeeze it um, one thing I noticed a lot of people were complaining about was that it didn't have any way to tie it tie it around your neck and people were losing them or feeling frustrated taking it in and out of their pockets. Uh, well, I solved that by getting some braided fishing line and tying it around the, the black ring there and then tying it to a piece of rope. So I've got it on a little lanyard here. I have it around my neck and I would just keep it tucked here in my shirt uh, while I was out hunting. Um, it was pretty easy to pop it in and out, no problem. So that was an easy fix. So it's great for realistic cow and calf sounds. Um, you can get a bugle out of it. I feel like I've got some more work to do to get a good, solid uh, bugle. Uh, the guys at Real Game Calls say that it can be done and they're working on putting out a video explaining how to do it better. So I'm mm -hmm. hoping to see that. And uh, my, my goal was to have an all-in-one call that I could do everything that I wanted with. And it's not quite that for me yet, but I don't know how much of that's my problem or the calls. Um, if I get to the point where I can get a solid bugle out of it, um, I'll post an update on here. Until then, I'm still carrying one of my mouth reeds um, and my tube um, when, I, when I want to do a bugle. I haven't been doing a lot of bugling this, this season. The elk aren't really talking yet. Um, so I've mostly been relying on cow calls anyway. I used this just yesterday and I got into the middle of a herd and uh, managed to call in a curious cow with it. She came in about 30 yards, but I'm in a bull only unit. I had to let her walk past, um, but it definitely caught her attention. And using this call, I was able to s stay with the herd for about a half an hour um, without them being worried about me, even though they knew I was there. So I guess it sounds like an elk. But I definitely I definitely recommend giving it a try. Um, like I said, I'm hoping 
that I can manage to get some some good bugling out of it so I can only have one thing with me in the field but um, for now I'm really happy with it as a as a good solid cow call um, so I recommend it check it out thanks